Grade 12, this is analytical mechanical 2, where we are given an assembly drawing showing the two views of a gas regulator assembly, a part list, a title block, and a table of questions here on your right hand side. The drawings have not been prepared to the indicated scale on here. And we are going to work through the questions from 1 to number 20 and find all the answers from the given drawing and the views on your left hand side which is view 1 and view 2. Let's start at question number 1. I'm going to zoom in so that we can clearly see what we need to write as answers. Question number 1. What is the title of the drawing? So we're going to scroll down to the title. It is clearly here stated it's a gas regulator. So we're going to write gas regulator in our answer block. Question number two, what is the web address of the company? Let's go find the web address. Here you are going to find the address of the company. It is 75 A Street. But the web address that we are looking for is www.theonegas.co.za and that's what you are going to write in your answer block. We look at question number three. What method of machining is prescribed on the drawing? So we're going to find that in our title bar. The method of machining is stated right here and that is going to be milling. Let's fill in milling as our answer to number three. Number four, which drawing program was used to prepare the drawing? And we scroll down and find that the drawing program is AutoCAD 2016, which will serve as our answer. Let's write that in our answer block. Number five, on what date was the drawing drawn? Here you will find that soon approved it, Vernon checked it, but the one we are looking for is Vickers who drew it and the date that he had drawn it was on the 31st of the 10th 2015. Question number six, who approved the drawing? Let's go see. And that was a person by the name of Soon who approved the drawing. Soon is written in our answer block. Number seven, what material is used to manufacture the seal? So we go down to our part list and here we find that our inlet seal is made of rubber and rubber we're going to write in our answer block. Number eight, what is view one called? View one sits over here which is that view over there and we have another view that's on top of that specific view. The proper name for view 1 is going to be a front view. But because it has been cut right through, we are going to call it a full section front view. And, that we are going to, and that's what we are going to write in our answer block. Number 9, name the feature at A. So we're going to find A on our drawing. So A refers to this corner over here and that corner is called a fillet. Now just to explain, a fillet can either be on the outside or a fillet can be on the inside of a specific corner. Both are classified to be fillets. Let's fill that in. Question number 10 is a dimensions question. So we will find the dimensions at B, C and D. Let's go find those three letters on our drawing. This is where we are going to find B. B refers to this inside threaded part of this year. So just keep in mind that because we have double lines here, those are threaded parts here on both sides. Because it's an M22 and M refers to thread on a knurling, which you see here. So the knurling is connected to that threaded portion there. So basically, if that is M22, then that there 
and that there will be 2.2 and that will be 2.2 reason being to find out how we work out the thread we need to say 22 times 0 comma 1 and if you times 22 times 0 comma 1 it gives you 2.2 .2, which basically means it's a 2.2 .2 this side and a 2.2 .2 that side which gives you 4.4 .4 altogether subtracted from the 22 which will give you 17.6 as your answer. So we're going to write in 17.6. So here we have diameter 17.6 written at B. We're going to look at C. C refers to this part over here from the start to the finish of the component. We are going to scroll up and or scroll down we are going to scroll down and we're going to find that we have a 45 from here to there and then we have a 40 from here to there which is a diameter and we will have a 30 from here to there but we have open spaces here but that arrow refers to that part as a 5 by 5 meaning that there is a 5 millimeter there and there's a 5 millimeter there and all together if you add it, you are going to get 125, which you are going to write in at C. Let's go find D. D refers to the height from here until there. What we have is we have 23, and we have a 22, and we have a 25. The missing part is this little piece over here, which is basically that part over there. And I need to highlight that part. But if you look at our top view, we are going to find that that part there is actually M10, which means it's 10 from here to there. And we only need half. So that part there is going to be 5 millimeters. So the 5 plus 25 plus 22 plus 23 is going to give you 75 as an answer to D. So we're going to write in 75 in the answer block. Question 11. Measure the angle at E. Let's go find E. So for you to be able to find the angle E here, I'm going to suggest that you actually just extend that a little bit longer. And then, of course, you are going to put your protractor on your on its side like that and focus on this specific point here as you need to measure this angle so you're going to do that and you are going to find the answer to that if this is perfectly straight in line that it goes through 75 degrees so this is going to be 75 degrees which we're going to write in your answer block Question number 12, why is the part at F filled in solid? Let's go see. This is the part if we are referring to. It could be for two reasons. The one is that it is a very small area for hatching to take place. So you are allowed to color that in. Alternatively, it could refer to the material rubber. Let's write those two answers in at number 12. We look at number 13. What is indicated by the feature at G? So let's find G on the drawing. G refers to this highlighted component here which has been enlarged. It refers to the wavy line here and of course the wavy line with hatching can only refer to part sectioning as we've mentioned before. Let's go write that in. Number 14, name the type of finish at H. Let's look at H on the drawing. H refers to this component here and the finish that we have there. And that is called a knurling, specifically a diamond shaped knurling. So we are going to write that in our answer block. The number 15, refer to the parts list and identify the part at J. 
This is where we look at J. It refers to this component here. And if we look at our part list, we're going to find that out of all these parts, it can only refer to the cap, which is made of brass. So we are going to fill that in, in our answer block. Number 16, how many surfaces of the gas regulator assembly must be machined? So what we need to do is we need to go find all the machining symbols and count them. So if you look at our machining symbol which we have here, we have one, two, three. But just keep in mind that this symbol here represents 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 with this one which is on top there, and 8 with that one that's there. Just keep that in mind how it is placed on your drawing. So the answer is going to be 8 in our answer block. Number 17, why is the feature at K tapered to one side only? So we're referring to K that you see here and tapered means it's slanted to one side only. Obviously there is going to be a hose that's going to be squeezed over this tapered section here and that will keep the rubber pipe or the rubber hose in position and it will not slide off or come off this valve that you see there. Let's fill in that answer at number 17 and there's your answer to keep the rubber pipe in position now we're going to look at number 18 insert the cutting plane on view 2 and label it SS so view 2 is going to be right here so we're going to add a cutting plane so what we are simply going to do is that the line is already there is to extend the line with a solid section that side and extend the line with a solid section that side two arrows pointing up like that and labeling it A A and that's basically how you label it because the arrows must be on the side where the section has been drawn number 19 in the space below here which is going to be right here at the bottom we need to draw in freehand the convention for a coil spring now learners you are going to start with a center line like that and then you're going to start with a straight line here and you must draw it freehand and you're going to have a straight line at the top there and all the inside lines will be slanted so you're going to go down that way down that way down that way and you're going to finish it off on the straight line like that number 20 and our final question in the space below where it's allocated for answer 20 draw in freehand the symbol for the projection system that was used so once again learners this is a very popular question and your answer will still be the same you start with a center line like that and you draw a vertical center line like that small circle big circle small circle representation like that big circle representation like that and the two adjoining lines on the slant will bring you to that symbol over there Learners, we have concluded this activity two of mechanical analytical and I hope that you have drawn lots of knowledge from the various questions which were posed.